In this tip of the day, let's take a look at how we can easily modify the 1CNC user interface. All right, now, when I create geometry, a lot of times I like to have access to both my layer browser and my verify browser. 1CNC provides lots of different ways to accommodate this. Let me show you a couple different options. If you take your cursor and hover over the Layers tab, don't grab it up here, but come down here to where it says Layers, Hold your left mouse button down, and while the mouse button's pressed down, move it over to the left inside the graphics area, and then let go of the mouse button. You'll notice now that you have your layer browser inside of the graphics area, and now I can click the Verify tab and have access to both of these. Now, if you want to free up more space within the graphics area, you can grab the layer browser by the top, move it over back to the right, and when you see the location map, move it right there. And then when you see that light blue representation of where the layer browser is going to be placed, simply let go of your left mouse button. Now you've got your layer browser on top of the Verify browser, and you have access still to all the area within the graphics interface. Notice now we can go back and turn our Verify browser on, and we quickly have access to both of these. Now, if you'd like to put things back to where they were, simply take your cursor, left click on the layer browser name, drag it down and drag it to the very bottom until you finally get the confirmation that it's gonna become a tab. And then you can let go of the left mouse button and now you've got your layer browser again docked in the lower right hand corner. And look how easy it is to rearrange these tabs. If I wanna take this tab and move it to the left, just take my cursor, Hold the left mouse button down, drag it all the way to the left, and then let go. All right, that's it. That's another powerful feature provided by 1CNC. That's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.